I think the basic point is that the disintegration of ice sheets is likely to be highly nonlinear. Um, we know that in the Earth's history, when ice sheets have uh, collapsed and sea level has gone up, we've had sea level rise of several meters in a century. So now, with humans changing the composition of the atmosphere much faster than it ever was changed in the past, there's no reason to think that that couldn't happen again. And in fact, when we look at uh, what's happening in around Antarctica and around Greenland, but especially around Antarctica, we become very concerned because what we see is that the ice shelves are melting. The ocean is getting warmer at depth and melting the ice shelves, the tongues of ice that come out from the ice sheet into the ocean and which buttress the ice sheet, those are melting. And as they, as they melt, that allows the ice from the ice sheet to be discharged more rapidly into the ocean. And what we discovered in our modeling was that that fresh water that is put onto the surface of the Southern Ocean makes it more stable. Normally, you have uh, deep water formation, Antarctic bottom water formation around the coast of Antarctica. And that process allows heat from the ocean to be dispelled to the atmosphere and to space. But if you put f more fresh water on the surface, it, it um, prevents or reduces that overturning because the, the water is less dense and so it doesn't sink as easily. And that then causes the heat in the ocean to, instead of coming out, it's used to melt the ice shelves. So it's an amplifying feedback. And uh, what we notice, we our record of precise uh, knowledge of the changes in the mass of the ice sheets is rather short. It really began with the gravity satellite, which is now has a record of only about 12 years. But over that period, the mass loss has increased rapidly. If it continues to double at the rate that it has in the last decade, then we could get within 50 years meter scale sea level rise. And you would rapidly, within another one or two decades, get multimeter sea level rise. So that's an enormous threat. Uh, more than half of the largest cities in the world are located on coastlines the economic consequences of losing functionality of all those cities would be incalculable. So it, it's, there would be so many refugees from China, for example, has more than 300 million people living within 20 meters of sea level. So we can't let that happen. We can't let the ice sheets uh, disintegrate and sea level rise many meters. It's just, it would make, um, it, it seems hard to imagine how the, the planet would be governable if we get such uh, dramatic changes because the economic consequences and the social consequences would be enormous.